Egypt's history is a tapestry woven with remarkable rulers, achievements, and intriguing facts. It all began with the first ruler, Nama, also known as Menes, who lived around the 31st century BC and was a crucial figure in ancient Egyptian history. He's recognized by some as the first pharaoh who united Upper and Lower Egypt, marking a pivotal moment in Egyptian history. His unification is represented in the famous Nama Palette, a ceremonial slate with carvings showing him wearing both Upper and Lower Egypt's crowns. Although the term pharaoh wasn't used in his time, Nama laid the foundation for the pharaonic tradition. His rule led to a consolidated political and religious authority, establishing the concept of the pharaoh as a divine ruler. This unification set the stage for Egypt's old kingdom. Marked by grand construction projects and complex bureaucracy, Nama's significance in ancient Egypt's history remains indisputable. The Old Kingdom, 27th to 22nd century BC in Egypt, is known for iconic achievements in art and architecture. Notable rulers include Khufu, also known as Cheops, who built the Great Pyramid, which was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This massive structure, composed of over two million limestone blocks, stands as a symbol of the might and organization of the Old Kingdom and Khafre, the son of Khufu, known for the Pyramid of Khafre and the Sphinx. This era, often called the Age of the Pyramids, is celebrated for monumental construction projects, showcasing advanced architectural skills. Old Kingdom rulers established extensive pyramid complexes serving as tombs and religious sites. They also developed centralized administration and governance, with pharaohs seen as divine authorities. Eventually, the Old Kingdom declined due to economic, social and environmental factors, leading to the First Intermediate Period. This period symbolizes Egypt's extraordinary achievements and the enduring legacy of its rulers. The New Kingdom of Egypt, from 16th to 11th century BC, was a significant era in Egypt's history. Key pharaohs include Hatshepsut, Thutmose III, Akhenaten, and Tutankhamun. The New Kingdom marked a resurgence of Egyptian power, with notable territorial expansion and military campaigns. Starting from Hatshepsut, 1479 to 1458 BC, she was a renowned female pharaoh who ruled with relative stability and led successful trading expeditions. Thutmose III, 1479 to 1425 BC, known as a brilliant military strategist, he expanded Egypt's territory through victorious campaigns. Akhenaten, 1353 to 1336 BC, he introduced a unique monotheistic religion centered on the sun god Aten and relocated the capital to Amarna. Tutankhamun, 1332 to 1323 BC. He was the famous boy king who had a short reign but left a treasure trove of information in his well-preserved tomb. The New Kingdom was a period of remarkable art, architecture and literature with iconic structures like the temples at Luxor and Karnak and the Valley of the Kings. The era gradually declined due to external invasions, political instability and economic challenges, leading to the Third Intermediate Period. The New Kingdom is celebrated for its powerful leaders, military successes and cultural brilliance, making it a captivating chapter in Egyptian history. Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, is one of the most iconic pharaohs in ancient Egyptian history, reigning during the 13th century BC. He is celebrated for his extensive military campaigns, monumental building projects, and his lasting impact on Egypt's legacy. Ramses II's reign is often considered a high point of the New Kingdom period. He was the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty and reigned for an astonishing 66 years, from around 1279 to 1213 BC. His long rule allowed him to make significant contributions to Egypt. Ramses II is particularly renowned for his military achievements. He conducted numerous campaigns, most notably the Battle of Kadesh, which is one of the best documented battles in ancient history. Though it ended inconclusively, 
Ramsey II's charisma and leadership skills left a strong impression. Ramsey II was an avid builder, leaving behind an impressive architectural legacy. He initiated the construction of the Ramesseum, a vast mortuary temple dedicated to himself. However, his most famous achievement is the relocation and restoration of the temples at Abu Simbel, which were threatened by the construction of the Aswan High Dam. This colossal undertaking involved cutting the temples into blocks and moving them to higher ground, preserving these stunning structures. Ramses II is often referred to as Ramses the Great for his remarkable reign. He was a prolific writer, known for documenting his accomplishments and adorning his inscriptions with extravagant titles, emphasizing his divine right to rule and his military successes. Ramses II's rule also saw the creation of various statues and inscriptions dedicated to him, spreading his image and legend across the Egyptian landscape. His influence extended into literature, with stories and myths about him persisting long after his death. Ramses Sekou had a large number of wives and children, contributing to the growth of his dynasty. He was succeeded by his 13th son, Menepta. Ramses II's extended rule and longevity, he lived into his 90s, further solidified his status as a powerful and enduring pharaoh. In 332 BC, Alexander the Great's conquest of Egypt marked the start of the Hellenistic era in the region. Alexander, a Macedonian king, sought to expand his empire through a series of conquests. Egypt was swiftly and peacefully taken from the Persian ruler Darius III by Alexander. Alexander established Alexandria, a pivotal city for trade, culture, and learning. Alexander respected Egyptian culture, presenting himself as a legitimate pharaoh, which earned the loyalty of the population. After Alexander died in 323 BC, Ptolemy Wysota took control of Egypt, leading the Greek-influenced Ptolemaic dynasty. The Ptolemaic era blended Greek and Egyptian cultures and saw the creation of the famous Library of Alexandria. A significant cultural exchange occurred, with Greek ideas introduced to Egypt and Egyptian traditions influencing the Hellenistic world. Alexander's conquest and the Ptolemaic dynasty left a lasting imprint, with a fusion of Greek and Egyptian culture and Alexandria's legacy as a center of knowledge enduring for centuries. Cleopatra VII, the last pharaoh of Egypt, played a significant role in the Roman-Egyptian era from 51 to 30 BC. Cleopatra came from the Ptolemaic dynasty and ruled Egypt when it was intertwined with the Roman Republic. She embraced Greek and Egyptian cultures and was known for her charm and intellect. Cleopatra had famous relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, bearing children from both. Her political involvement supported Caesar's faction during the Roman Civil War and played a role in the transition from the Roman Republic to the Empire under Augustus. Cleopatra's life ended with Mark Antony at the Battle of Axium in 30 BC, marking the end of Egypt's independence. Cleopatra's story continues to captivate as an enigmatic figure of intrigue and political maneuvering depicted in various forms of art and literature. Cleopatra VII's life symbolizes the complex interplay of power, politics, and culture in ancient history, ensuring her enduring status as an iconic historical figure. The period of Roman rule over Egypt, spanning from 30 BC to the 4th century CE, is a significant chapter in both Egyptian and Roman history. This era was marked by profound political, cultural, and economic changes as Egypt became a vital province of the Roman Empire. Roman rule in Egypt began with the defeat of Mark Antony and Cleopatra in the Battle of Axium in 31 BC. The subsequent suicides of Antony and Cleopatra marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty's rule over Egypt. With Egypt now firmly under Roman control, it became a valuable province. The region was not only agriculturally rich, but also strategically significant as a grain source for the city of Rome. Various Roman emperors played a role in governing Egypt during this period. Augustus, Octavian, 
the first Roman emperor, took a personal interest in Egypt's administration, which set the tone for the centuries to come. Egypt's agricultural wealth was a vital asset for Rome. The Nile Delta's fertile lands provided a constant source of grain and other foodstuffs for the Roman population. The Nile River itself was a crucial transportation route for these goods. The fusion of Roman and Egyptian cultures was evident during this era. Temples and monuments in Egypt adopted Roman architectural styles, and the cult of the Roman emperors was incorporated into Egyptian religious practices. The Roman Empire's shift to Christianity was also felt in Egypt. The region became a significant centre for early Christian communities, and it's where the famous Library of Alexandria, although in decline by this time, had connections to early Christian scholarship. By the 4th century CE, the Roman Empire was in decline. Egypt was eventually taken over by the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire. The period of Byzantine rule in Egypt, which encompassed the 4th to the 7th century CE, is a significant era in Egypt's history and an integral part of the Byzantine Empire's legacy. Egypt continued to be under Roman rule until the 4th century CE, when the Roman Empire split into the Western and Eastern Roman Empires. Egypt became part of the Eastern Roman Empire, often referred to as the Byzantine Empire, with its capital in Constantinople, modern Istanbul. Under Byzantine rule, Egypt underwent significant administrative and cultural changes. The Byzantines introduced a centralized bureaucratic system, and Greek became the official language of the government, although Coptic, the native Egyptian language, remained in use. The Byzantines were Christians, and the Egyptian Christian community, known as the Copts, developed a unique form of Christianity during this period. The Coptic Church played a significant role in preserving Christian traditions and religious scholarship. Religious controversies, such as the Arian and Chalcedonian disputes, affected Egypt during Byzantine rule. Theological disagreements led to tensions and schisms within the Christian community. The Byzantine Empire faced external threats during this period. Egypt experienced conflicts with the Persian Sassanid Empire, and these battles weakened the region. Ultimately, Egypt became a target for the emerging Islamic Arab forces, which led to the Arab conquest of Egypt in the 7th century CE. By the late 7th century, the Byzantine Empire's control over Egypt had waned. The Arab forces led by Amr Ibn al-Az captured the region in 642 CE, marking the end of Byzantine rule and the beginning of the Islamic era in Egypt. The Islamic conquest of Egypt in the 7th century CE represents a pivotal moment in the region's history as it transitioned from Byzantine rule to becoming part of the Islamic Caliphate. This era saw Egypt as a significant province under the rule of the Umayyad and Abbasid dynasties. In 642 CE, Arab forces under the leadership of Amr Ibn al-As, a companion of the Prophet Muhammad, successfully captured Egypt. This marked the end of Byzantine rule and the beginning of Islamic governance. The arrival of the Islamic Caliphate brought administrative and cultural transformations to Egypt. Arabic became the dominant language of government and Islamic legal systems replaced Byzantine laws. The conversion of Egypt to Islam led to the establishment of mosques and the practice of Islamic religious traditions. While the Coptic Christian community continued to exist, Islam gradually became the predominant religion. The Islamic Caliphate had a profound impact on Egypt's economy and culture. Arabic became the primary language for intellectual and literary activities, and Egypt played a central role in the broader Islamic civilization. Egypt came under the Umayyad Caliphate's rule, which was based in Damascus. The Umayyad dynasty's governance of Egypt was marked by political stability and economic prosperity. In 750 CE, the Abbasid Caliphate overthrew the Umayyads. Egypt became part of the Abbasid Empire, and this era witnessed further cultural and intellectual achievements, particularly in fields like science, medicine, and philosophy. By the 9th century, Egypt began to experience periods of political turmoil and internal strife, 
leading to the eventual fragmentation of the Abbasid Empire. The period of the 9th to the 16th century in Egypt witnessed the rule of several significant Islamic dynasties, each contributing to the region's history in unique ways. It all began with the Fatimid dynasty, 909 to 1171 CE. Founded by the Ismaili Shia Muslims, the Fatimids established a powerful and innovative state centered in Cairo. They are known for founding the city of al kahira modern-day Cairo, and for their contributions to architecture, including the Al-Azhar Mosque. The Fatimids played a crucial role in the spread of Shia Islam in Egypt. Ayyubid dynasty, 1171 to 1250 CE, founded by Saladin, a military leader of Kurdish origin, the Ayyubids successfully captured Egypt from the Fatimids. Saladin is famous for his campaigns in the Crusades, including the recapture of Jerusalem. Under Ayyubid rule, Egypt became a prominent center of Islamic scholarship and trade. Mamluk Sultanate, 1250 to 1517 CE. The Mamluks were originally slave soldiers who rose to power. They established a dynasty that ruled Egypt for over two centuries. The Mamluk Sultanate is known for its contributions to Islamic art and architecture, including the construction of the complex at the citadel in Cairo. During their rule, Egypt maintained significant trade connections and played a vital role in regional politics. In the early 16th century, the Ottoman Empire, based in Constantinople, modern Istanbul, began its conquest of Egypt. Ottoman rule marked the start of a long period of integration into the Ottoman Empire, with Cairo as a significant provincial capital. This era also saw the expansion of trade and the strengthening of Egyptian-Ottoman ties. The period of Ottoman rule in Egypt, spanning from the 16th to the 19th century, was a significant chapter in Egypt's history as the region became an integral part of the vast Ottoman Empire. Egypt was formally incorporated into the Ottoman Empire in the early 16th century. The Ottoman conquest of Egypt marked the beginning of a new phase in the region's history. The Ottomans introduced a centralized administrative system in Egypt. The region was divided into provinces or ayelets, each governed by a provincial governor or pasha appointed by the Ottoman Sultan in Constantinople, modern Istanbul. Egypt's strategic location and agricultural wealth made it an essential part of the Ottoman Empire. The Nile Delta provided abundant agricultural resources, particularly grain which was vital for feeding the Ottoman capital and its vast territories. Ottoman rule influenced various aspects of Egyptian culture. Arabic remained the dominant language, and Islamic customs and traditions were promoted. The Ottomans also left their architectural and artistic mark on Egypt, with the construction of mosques, caravanserais and other buildings. Egyptian military forces played a crucial role in the Ottoman Empire's campaigns and conflicts, particularly in the Eastern Mediterranean and the Arabian Peninsula. Egypt was often a base for Ottoman military expeditions. By the 18th century, the Ottoman Empire began to experience internal decline. Reforms were initiated to modernize the administration and military, but these reforms brought both benefits and challenges to Egypt. In the early 19th century, Muhammad Ali Pasha, an Ottoman governor of Egypt, effectively established an independent Egyptian state. His rule, while nominally under Ottoman suzerainty, marked a period of significant political and economic reforms in Egypt. Muhammad Ali Pasha, who lived in the early 19th century, is a pivotal figure in Egyptian history, often regarded as the founder of modern Egypt, while nominally under Ottoman suzerainty. Muhammad Ali was an Ottoman governor appointed to rule Egypt, However, he quickly established his authority and embarked on a series of reforms that laid the foundation for modern Egypt. Muhammad Ali initiated a comprehensive program of reforms in Egypt. His efforts included modernizing the military, establishing a modern bureaucracy, and implementing new agricultural and industrial practices. He introduced conscription and created a powerful army that played a central role in his rule. 
One of Muhammad Ali's key contributions was the development of Egypt's economy. He promoted cotton cultivation, established textile factories, and focused on improving infrastructure, including irrigation and transportation networks. These efforts significantly boosted Egypt's economic strength. Muhammad Ali sought to modernize education, introducing secular schools and encouraging the study of various subjects, including military and technical sciences. This approach helped in the training and development of a new generation of educated Egyptians. Although Muhammad Ali nominally ruled under Ottoman authority, his reforms laid the groundwork for Egypt's push toward greater autonomy and eventual independence. His rule marked the beginning of a modern Egyptian state. Muhammad Ali sought to expand his rule beyond Egypt and launched military campaigns in Sudan, the Levant and Arabia. While he gained significant territories, these campaigns eventually led to conflicts with European powers. In his later years, Muhammad Ali's rule faced challenges, and his family's control over Egypt and Sudan continued into the late 19th century. His legacy is mixed, as his reforms brought modernization, but also increased centralization and authoritarianism. The British occupation of Egypt, spanning from 1882 to 1952, was a significant chapter in Egypt's history as the country came under British influence and control, marking a period of colonialism and political transformation. The British involvement in Egypt began in 1882 due to concerns about the Suez Canal's security. The canal was a crucial link in Britain's imperial communications and trade routes to its colonies in Asia and Africa. The British took control of Egypt militarily, officially as a temporary measure to restore order. However, this occupation effectively gave the British significant control over Egypt's administration, economy and resources. Egypt continued to be part of the Ottoman Empire, but in practice, it was under dual control by both British officials and Egyptian Khedives. The Khedives, appointed by the Ottoman Empire, had limited power and often served as puppets of the British. Under British influence, Egypt underwent significant economic changes. The country's agricultural production, particularly cotton, was geared toward meeting British interests. Large estates owned by British and Egyptian elites became prominent. The British introduced several political reforms, including constitutional changes and the establishment of a parliamentary system. These reforms allowed for increased Egyptian participation in political matters. The British presence in Egypt led to the growth of Egyptian nationalism and the emergence of independence movements. Egyptian intellectuals and political figures like Saad Zaghloul began advocating for self-rule and autonomy. During World War I, Egypt became a British protectorate, formalizing British control. After the war, Egyptian protests and demands for self-determination grew stronger. The struggle for Egyptian independence culminated in the 1952 Egyptian Revolution, led by the Free Officers' Movement. The revolution led to the abolition of the monarchy and the establishment of the Republic of Egypt. The Republic of Egypt, established in 1952 and continuing to the present day, marks a modern era in the country's history, characterized by a series of influential leaders and significant political developments. The modern era of the Republic of Egypt began with the Egyptian Revolution of 1952, led by the Free Officers' Movement. This revolution resulted in the overthrow of King Farouk Brefrawand and the establishment of a republic marking the end of British influence in Egypt. The prominent figures behind the 1952 revolution included Gamal Abdel Nasser, Muhammad Naguib, Anwar Sadat and others. Gamal Abdel Nasser emerged as the dominant leader and played a pivotal role in shaping Egypt's trajectory. Gamal Abdel Nasser 1954 to 1970, served as Egypt's second president and is renowned for his leadership in modernizing Egypt. His policies included land reforms, nationalization of the Suez Canal and the promotion of Arab nationalism. He was a central figure in the non-aligned movement and a strong advocate for pan-Arabism. 
A major event during Nasser's presidency was the Suez Crisis in 1956, during which Egypt nationalized the Suez Canal. This crisis marked a significant point in the Cold War, with Egypt receiving support from the Soviet Union. After Nasser died in 1970, Anwar Sadat succeeded him as president. Sadat is known for his role in the Camp David Accords, 1978, leading to the normalization of relations between Egypt and Israel. Anwar Sadat's policies were controversial, and he was assassinated by Islamist extremists during a military parade in 1981. Hosni Mubarak, who was the vice president, assumed the presidency. Mubarak's rule was marked by a strong centralized government, limited political freedoms, and economic reforms. His presidency lasted for nearly three decades until the Egyptian Revolution of 2011. The 2011 revolution was a pivotal moment in modern Egyptian history. Widespread protests, largely driven by demands for political reform and the ousting of Mubarak, eventually led to his resignation. Following the revolution, Egypt experienced a period of political instability and transition. Egypt held democratic elections, leading to the presidency of Mohamed Morsi, affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood. However, Morsi's presidency was short-lived, and he was removed from power in 2013. In 2014, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, a former military officer, became the president of Egypt till present. His presidency has been marked by efforts to stabilize the country, implement economic reforms, and address security concerns. The Republic of Egypt in the modern era has seen significant political, economic, and social changes. Its leaders, such as Nasser, Sadat, Mubarak, and el-Sisi, have played central roles in shaping the country's direction. The 2011 revolution and its aftermath underscore the complexities of Egypt's journey toward democratic governance.